This is the Kutsio S2. It's a solid state power bank. And hopefully I'm saying their name right. <laughs> All right, I didn't even know that these kind of products existed, not power banks, but solid state power banks. And this isn't new apparently because this is already their second generation of these. The only thing that I knew was for consumers that were solid state were hard drives like these. I know I've heard of them developing solid state batteries for EVs, but I didn't know that they were putting them in power banks too. Well, here it is. So let's take a closer look at it. The Kushio S2 is a Qi2 5000 milliamp hour solid state power bank. The main benefit for solid state batteries over the typical lithium ion batteries in power banks is its safety. It has a reduced risk of punctures, overheating, and spontaneous ignition. Kushio posted a few videos of them hitting, slashing, and stabbing these power banks, and them still performing like normal. I'm not going to be doing that test myself because I'm not crazy. <laughs> the S2 supports 15 watts of magnetic wireless charging. There's also a USB port that can deliver up to 20 watts PD fast charging. And yes, you can simultaneously charge, so you can charge your phone and AirPods at the same time. For reference, it can wirelessly charge my iPhone 15 Pro Max to 100% in just under one and a half hours. And it can provide 1.2 full charges for my iPhone. They say it can deliver consistent performance for years with up to 1,000 full cycles with no noticeable degradation. I don't have that much time to test that, so I'll have to take their word for it. But seriously, from what I understand, solid state batteries do degrade slower and last longer than lithium ion batteries that are typically found in power banks, and they also hold their capacity better with age. The S2 has integrated heat dissipating superconducting tech that allows for quicker charging of both the power bank itself and devices connected to it. Now don't mind the blurry footage here, I hate autofocus apparently. <laughs> But I fully drained both the Kustio S2 and this other 5000 milliamp hour power bank from Anchor to see if it does charge faster, and the S2 fully charged in about an hour. It took just under 2 hours for the one from Anchor to fully charge. There are 16 N52 magnets on here that are really strong and Kustio says can handle 3.59 pounds. I don't know who's carrying a phone that heavy, but yeah. <laughs> the S2 is made of aluminum alloy, weighs 5 ounces, and is only 0.39 inches thick. It features American Corning glass on both sides and is reinforced with an explosion proof film for toughness and durability. This feels really premium, but I do worry about dropping it and messing up the finish. Kind of like how my iPhone feels premium, but I have to put this case on there just in case I drop it. This power bank will be fine if I drop it on concrete, but I'll probably cry about it. <laughs> so I've gone through a few power banks and I had to dispose of three of them because the batteries in them started swelling. It's a little scary when you're packing up for a trip and pull out a power bank and find that it's swollen up. Now that I know that solid state power banks exist, I'm never gonna buy another power bank that doesn't have these kind of batteries in it. Oh, I'll still review them for giving to me, I just won't buy them. <laughs> so compared to other 5000 milliamp power banks, this one may or may not be worth a higher price to you. Obviously what you're paying for is that solid state battery. Because from what I've researched, solid state batteries have a higher energy density, so in theory, they should allow for thinner and more compact power banks. But here it is against my older Anchor 622. The S2 is ever so slightly bigger on all sides versus the Anchor. The Anchor actually has the benefit of having a built-in kickstand back here too, so technically it could even be smaller than this. The S2 doesn't have a built-in kickstand, which would have been nice to have on here. And here it is against the Anchor Nano. This is probably my favorite power bank that I own because of how small it is. Now it may not have wireless charging like the S2, but it does have a built-in USB connector, so it's easy to charge my phone or even my cameras with it. The Nano also has a USB port, so I can simultaneously charge two things with this too. But mainly, look how small it is compared to the S2. So I bought the 622 three years ago, but right now, it sells for about $48, and the Nano goes for around $30. The MSRP for the Kutsio S2 is $140, but I've seen it being sold for $80 on Amazon. Either way, that's still significantly more than these other two power banks of the same capacity. But once again, what you're mainly paying for is the safety and peace of mind. This is a little nerdy, but I'm kind of excited to see how these solid state batteries develop, especially in much larger capacities like for EVs. It could make long trips much more manageable. Unless this already exists and I don't know about it again, which wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up now.